I support people um, during their time uh, within the centre. Uh, that includes going out on the buses, collecting people from the community who would otherwise be unable to come out without the, um, the use of the bus. They wouldn't be able to get here. Uh, so that's our first thing that we do is to go and gather the people in. Uh, we come in, we have a cup of tea and then we get into groups. Um, we do exercise groups, we do arts and crafts. A lot of people, uh, when they come to the service, they have been spending periods of time on their own, uh, which isn't good for anyone's well-being. So it's really, we're just here to boost people's well-being, um, to try and get people a wee bit stronger mentally as well as physically. Um, and my role is to provide guidance and support. Um, I came one day, um, three years ago, and um, just as I had just left college, um, so I came through the agency and I've just been here ever since. <laughs> it was only supposed to be one shift. Uh, but I live local, I know the people, and I'm really passionate about working in my community, um, helping people from my, my community, giving back to my community. I have been offered other jobs elsewhere, but I think because my son's my kids' schools are here, I live here, I know the people, you know, that, that's what's important to me. So I know that people are saying community is lost, which I feel is a lot of rubbish. Um, we, our community is changing, we have much more elderly people in our community now, we have people from all over the world living in our community now, um, so it's really nice that we're still being able, able to offer a service. Um, it would be such a shame for money to be lost through these types of services because they're very important. They're a lifeline to many, many people. Um, and with our ageing community, um, it would be such a shame for things to be lost. Um, because, like I said before, about how important it is for people to have uh, interaction uh, with the outside world.